So Sandra, we are together again to talk through and introduce your amazing archive collection. This is your iconic Manhattan dress. The print is the Chrysler Building and the Empire State Building, but it's done so that the whole dress, as you can see, is cut in lovely little tears all around the opening. All of it is edged with tiny iridescent green beads. This is like so Studio 54, isn't it? American Vogue ran your very first dress ever, which is the, the knitted, knitted circle. circle. They're printed as complete circles, 36 inches wide, and then they're put around the body to go down in the layers. This one's done with the frilly circle and it's drawn as if there's little frills and then there's little flowers and each flower has got another bead and a pearl in it. Tell us the story behind this dress. It was originally designed in black with shocking pink pearls and print and then Princess Diana came into my shop off of Bond Street and this was made especially in a colourway. She didn't announce what it was actually for, but it was for her trip to Japan, where she, I believe, fainted, and it was announced that she was pregnant with her first child. These are the Mexican circles that I designed after a trip to Mexico, and they're based on Mexican sombreros. And then the bottom is Star Wars, with all little planets and stars. I'm proud that I've got one of the few printing tables left in London. I think it's a technique that's quite fabulous and very different from anything digital. Do you think this is the most iconic? It's become the most iconic. It's printed with Field of Lilies, which I first designed in 1971 after a trip to Japan. I started to draw the lilies in, in my room and it ended up as this print. It goes like that so that the bodice is like a butterfly. Field of Lilies was on the cover of British Vogue on Twiggy. It was also on Bianca Jagger in a huge story, her first major iconic story in the Sunday Times in 1977. This Pat Cleveland dress, named after Pat Cleveland, who was one of your muses back in the day. Oh, yes, I worked with her at Andy Warhol's um, factory. English Vogue came to every, all the top designers and said, would you design styles to be used for a royal wedding? At that time, we weren't sure, but it was the Princess Diana one. And I did a whole collection in gold, and this was called my Elizabethan collection. Would your heritage be as strong without these women? It's always the word of mouth and how people feel in things that's gonna keep your name living. I like to think that my things have a timeless element merely because I started off by doing drawings and I consider myself as an artist working in the medium of dresses, their own living work of art. <laughs>